slight breathing and moans coming from the animatronic. <laughs> A man walks alone through a dark corridor as strange sounds echo in the distance. Coming upon the source of the sound, they find that it's an animatronic bear, Withered Freddy. The robot has obviously seen better days. His jaw and left hand are missing. Everything looks creepier and spookier with a grain filter, and thanks to today's sponsor, Opera GX, you now have the power of analog horror at your fingertips. With the Horror GX mod, suddenly everything is aesthetic and artistic and creepy. Mr. Beast video? Mr. Beast video with a spooky filter. The mod also includes unique music and sounds that trigger when typing, opening and closing tabs, and more. Beyond that, there are themes and wallpapers, all of which can be configured in Opera GX's mods menu. There are other mods too, like, holy crap, wait, there's a Berserk mod? <gasps> that might be the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'm not sure I can handle a browser this awesome. Just kidding, of course I can, and so can you. Opera GX has countless handy features for gamers, like GX Control, which lets you limit the amount of resources your tabs can drain, and even isolate problematic high usage pages, eradicating them. Switching from another browser, with the quick import tool you can easily transfer your history and bookmarks, and Opera GX is compatible with every Chrome extension. Use the special link below to download Opera GX free today, and you'll get access to a special feed that shows you all the greatest videos on YouTube right at your homepage always. Thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Seemingly lost in a maze of infinite corridors, the man continues to explore the strange, dark location and soon encounters Chica. For a moment, it seems as if the man is able to escape Chica. However, as he flees into the darkness, a new, much more talkative threat emerges. Why hello there, young person? Why are you in such distress? Is there a problem with your current situation? Ah, I see. This shall not do. There, there, it's all right. I'll help you get out of this mess. Oh, what's the matter? You don't trust me? Why don't you come closer? Come closer. 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 As Chica and Ballora subdue the man, we finally get a glimpse of who's in charge. Behold, my friends, the dance of life, where mortals pirouette through existence, tethered to their perceived virtues and Yet beneath the fragile veil of their so-called innocence lies the truth, an iridescent tapestry of sin, woven with the threads of deceit and decadence. What compels me do I ponder to play the role of the reaper and arbiter of fate? I tell you, it is not a matter of whimsy or arbitrary desire, but rather an artist's endeavor to expose the souls tarnished by their own twisted allure. In each victim, I see a reflection of the collective transgressions of mankind. These wondrous creations of man, these animatronic marvels that mirror life but are devoid of the essence that makes us human. Their eyes, like polished mirrors, reflect an innocence untainted by sin. Yet 
in their mechanical existence, they serve as the allegory for my victims. For their deaths are not in vain, but rather a testament to the perverse duality of our flawed humanity. Whoa. That was perhaps the best written soliloquy in any FNAF VHS ever. Perhaps the man was killed because he hated puppies and kittens. The Theft King channel is all about adorable puppies and kittens. If you don't subscribe to Theft King, you hate adorable puppies and kittens. Don't end up like this guy. Subscribe to Theft King. It would seem that Springtrap is controlling Ballora and Chica, having coerced them to murder this man, although his reasons for doing so aren't yet clear. To be fair, it is Springtrap. I mean, he's like super evil, so he doesn't really need a reason. The next tape is a Fazbear Entertainment video manual, this time detailing the procedures behind audio calibration, which trains each animatronic's AI to recognize and respond appropriately to different kinds of sounds. Welcome back to the Faz Fazbertainment Animatronics up video manual. These training exercises will help the attractions do various tasks such as walk around a designated area, avoid obstacles, and interact with customers. Uh, what animatronic is that? And wh what is that customer that they're interacting with? The tape only gets stranger. The narrator insists that the operator shut off all the lights before performing the audio calibration, and then... Place your cassette player down in the middle of the pizzeria, at an equal distance from both the show stage and Pirate's Cove. Make sure the tape, MBRBKRM5, is successfully placed into the player. The following is an example of what a successful audio calibration should look like. Without acknowledging any of what we've just seen, the tape continues on, next detailing how to calibrate the animatronic's visual systems. In one of the coolest scenes in the series, we get to witness FNAF 2's Take Cake to the Children minigame from Freddy's point of view, and we witness William Afton's cold murder of Charlotte Emily. Inside the box you will find five cutouts of childlike subjects. Arrange the cutouts around the dining room, following the booklet found in the same box's instructions. The following is an example of what a successful visual calibration should look like. Give cake to the children. 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 Give cake 
to the children. Give cake to the children. Give cake to the children. Wow, that was, whoa. Easy 2B is like a freaking VHS master. The next tape, Ballora's Task, returns to the FNAF room setting. We see Springtrap, Ballora, and Chica have amassed a collection of corpses, including the victim from before. However, suddenly, Springtrap gives an unexpected command. Ballora, dismantle Chica. It would seem that Springtrap compelled Ballora to dismantle Chica and salvage her parts for use in reconstructing Freddy. In the next tape, we see Freddy, now equipped with Chica's parts, begin to activate before falling dormant yet again. Freddy is the main star and singer of our band. Freddy is laid back, easygoing, loves to have fun, and is incredibly happy-go-lucky. Now playing, General Attraction Performance Demo. Bonnie is a prideful, boastful, optimistic bunny rabbit, and the guitarist of the band. Now playing. As the two peer into the darkness, a new entity makes itself known. Mangle attacks Springtrap and Ballora, though they're able to overpower it. Are you okay? Do you want the camera? Yes. Only a few moments later, though, they hear yet another sound, a decidedly less intimidating one.
Now, start applying the rest of Freddy's lower half cosmetics located in boxes labeled FFA PFC 841. Start with the calves, thighs, pelvis, and now the torso. Now it's time for the arms. When obstructing evidence, remember to leave no missing body parts behind. If unable to fit any victim inside an animatronic suit, slice off extruding limbs to fit as neatly as possible. While cleaning up, you may hear slight breathing and moans coming from the animatronic <coughs> due to how some victims may still be breathing. You must now act quickly and burn your clothes and weapons. Retreat to a safe location far away from any public activity. Carefully place your stained clothes and weapons into a paper bag. Do not let the tampered items touch anything else. After properly washing off and placing clean clothes on, approach the bag with latex gloves, careful not to get any fingerprints onto the evidence. Find an outdoor fire pit, or make your own in an open outdoor area away from public society. Place the evidence into the fire pit. Use a match or lighter to light the kindling at multiple points. As the fire grows, carefully add larger pieces of firewood to maintain a steady burn. Allow the firewood and evidence to burn completely and turn to ash. Thank you for watching. Retreat back home and stay as far away from the restaurant as possible, for at least a few weeks. To continue the video manual, please enter, take, five. Easy to be makes some of the creepiest FNAF VHS tapes out there, and they're all made in SFM apparently, which is like crazy impressive. Check these out, they're really, really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching.